Hello everyone, uh, this is Mr. Viz. So as I said, uh, I have used the macros in few places instead of uh, the bigger the, the bigger code on uh, a player character. So in this video, I'll search wherever I've used on my project and uh, we'll use that function, that macro in, in our tutorial project also. <coughs> so on even graph uh, we have this mantle recover uh, uh, weapon uh, stuff we have set here so we don't need uh, all this code anymore because we have everything applied on the holster and equip weapon function itself so I'll remove all this then holster and equip weapon I'll call it here click on holster and then uh, I'm creating a variable here. Open holstered. Set this to true. And similarly on uh, mantle recover weapon, uh, we don't need all this code here. And add a branch if weapon holstered true, then and equip. and uh, for the player state it should be player previous state and unset the weapon holster okay this should be fine uh, let's test this so I'll take a weapon my weapon is holstered and once I mantle, uh, once my mantle is completed, it's taking the weapon back. Okay. Then uh, again on the weapon graph. on the fire event uh, instead of just setting the player current state I'm using the weapon equip Similarly here. The reason is I want all these to be executed uh, when we want to go to fist. So I don't want to put all these logic uh, again and again. So I'm just using the macro. Then on uh, input graph, here
then in uh, in apply uh, medkit uh, before we play the montage so we don't need all this now mm, even this we don't need and we don't we don't want this so just one instance of this is fine and here Open equip. And get the player previous state. I think that that should be fine now. So uh, uh, I think I've covered almost all the parts required uh, uh, to have the third weapon on the player. So if at all you face any issues, please uh, report to me on Discord and uh, I'll uh, with the video so that I can check on my project and uh, you know compare. Uh, to see whichever uh, I have missed and I'll, I'll make a separate video for that as I said you know uh, we have updated a lot of functions and events so there are chances that I, I might have missed few things which I have on my template project which I haven't shown on the video tutorial so if in case you find any issues please feel free to uh, post it on discord or DM me with the video so that I can try to update a fix and uh, uh, by the time you 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 have reached this stage of uh, the tutorial series you would have already completed uh, or you, you you might have already seen the radial menu so in next video i'll see i'll show how to merge the radial menu to this so earlier we had a different kind of a menu so the radial menu tutorial uh, is a seven part uh, series so i'll show in the next video on how to merge the, that here thanks for watching